Today, I'm testing a couple different ways to drink mead, including a mead slushy and mead ice cubes and some various things. So let's get started. So it's summertime, I'm just enamored by the idea of a mead slushy. That's what started this whole idea. You could go out and buy one of those uh, commercial style slushy makers where you dump the stuff in and it spins and over the course of many hours it turns into a slushy and then you pour it from there. However, those are pretty dang expensive and um, pretty single, not single use, but specific use. So I figured how can I make a mead slushy at home without having to like go spend all that money? So I started off with the idea of making some mead ice cubes, which we're, we're gonna use these in like a multiple, multitude of ways, I should say. I had this strawberry and lemon mead that there's a whole video for if you wanna learn how to make this. And I figured it'd be the best candidate that I currently have for a slushy slash the other things I'm gonna talk about. So um, if their video is out, I'll put a link to it for this. But essentially this is a 12% mead that I took and started off by buying some ice cube trays, as you can see here, and I filled the ice cube trays with the mead, and we froze them. So this, these, excuse me, are frozen ice cubes, or frozen mead cubes, I guess is what we're gonna call them. So we got our frozen mead cubes here. We're gonna make a slushy by just using a blender. So in a moment, essentially what I'll do is I will uh, fill up, I'm gonna fill up our blender with some ice cubes, and we're just gonna blend it up make ourselves a slushy. So let's go ahead and try that first. We've got some other stuff to do with these over here, but this is kind of like my idea is, to, you know, if you were going to the pool, like what could you do at the pool to have something that's really, I mean, nice, cold. You could of course just make a carbonated, light, poolside mead, summertime mead that's gonna be crushable and great. Um, but I wanted to do something different. I already do that as it stands, so. Now, I know many people, scientists in the, the comment section are already saying, well, the alcohol didn't freeze, and you're right. But the non-alcohol did, with this being a 12%, we're gonna have some non-alcohol. This is not going well. Sure about the trays that you can push out on the bottom. We've made a bit of a mess, but we got them in there. So that's what matters. So now, with these being frozen, they're like decently frozen. They definitely don't look 100%, even though they sat in for like 48 hours. We're gonna go ahead, start up our blender. Frozen drinks smoothies. Our slushy has finished. So let's see what this guy looks like. I mean, that's pretty dang smoothie-like slushy like look at that dang that worked better than i thought i mean it's ice cubes essentially now again i can already hear the comments of people saying it's just really cold mead i mean yeah it is but oh man it could just be the combo, strawberry lemonade, or lime, strawberry lemon. But this is a pool time drink right here. Holy cow. So easy to do too. I mean, I made some ice cubes. Mmm. Okay. I'm thinking of the endless combos that could be turned into a very amazing smoothie like, okay. This works. If you ever wanted to make something like this, this is the way to do it. Freeze your ice cubes, freeze your mead rather, and do it that way. That works well. Let's go ahead and talk about some other alternatives. I, I froze another set of uh, cubes right here. And my intent with this one was what happens, let's say you didn't wanna do the whole blender thing and make this, which is so good, holy cow. The mead's good, the cold version. I'm imagining my by the pool. You can already see at the bottom, there's like, it's gonna start collecting just like an icy wood, you know. But anyways, what if we took 
and we wanted to make something lighter. Maybe like this is still 12% because it's just the frozen version, right? What if we wanted to make like a cocktail of sorts? Dumb down or uh, make the ABV a little less strong, but still get the flavor, make it more of a mixed drink in a way. So my idea here is to use stuff like Topo Chico, which is just mineral water, and then Sprite. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get myself a couple cubes here, back to the drawing board, dense thing. Let me, let me get a couple cubes, see what I can do. Okay, I've got my glasses and my ice. I'm gonna make a, a little space here because I've made a giant mess. All right, now I know a lot of you are like, why not just make the mead cold and then blend them? That's like less cool. Let's make this more interesting. This is visually, if you did this for your friends, they'd be like, oh wow, that's so fancy. And then you pour on some, oh, Topo Chico. Look at that. Can you imagine your friends? They'd be so impressed by the thing you've made. Okay. And then if your friend was like, well, I want something more sugary. How about some Sprite? Now we're still chilling by the pool or you just mowed your lawn or something. Gotta take another drink of this guy. So let's go over to our Topo Chico version. Now, obviously the ice cubes, the more they melt, the more flavor that's gonna be there. Definitely hard because I think this needs more time to melt. Both were very cold. You can see it like, what's interesting, if you watch it, the alcohol, as it's leaving the ice cube, getting mixed in and the other flavors, there's all that. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna come back in just a few minutes. We're gonna let these guys have just a moment to infuse. the color started to drain out of these a little bit. This means the, the uh, flavor, the strawberry side's coming out. It's gonna poke them a little bit. Obviously this might be a little longer wait time, infusion. Essentially the difference here is that the slushy that we made is straight 12%, 100%, 100% is 12%, not 100%. This guy would rather be like four or 5%. So here's our Topo Chico again. Mm -hmm. It's starting to impart a little bit. It's not extremely strong, but you get the strawberry element there that's light. You could probably have a bunch more of these stay hydrated because you're drinking Topo Chico and still have uh, quite a few of these. That's pretty dang good though. Woo, but that's good. Okay, a little sweeter over to the Sprite. I don't know if I'll like this as much. I kind of like the crisp refreshing side that's mostly sugar from the uh, strawberry and lemon mead, but. That's pretty dang good though. <laughs> yeah, definitely has you know, Sprite sweetness. Plus the strawberry and lemon. Mmm, that's pretty dang good. Okay, synopsis. First of all, if you did this, I'd recommend a combo that's more summertime, hot weather friendly. I don't foresee you doing this in December when it's cold outside. I mean, you could, but a mead slushy doesn't really scream cold outside. I would do something like a tropical leaf fruit. I can imagine making this as a pineapple mead, throwing your ice cubes in, that could be fantastic. The only, not only problem, one of the problems is ice cubes are kind of hard to deal with. So you could alternatively just like pour it into a freeze safe dish, freeze it, and then just scoop out to make your slushy, if you wanted to do that. If you like the ice cube idea, then you do have to use the ice cube trays and fill them up. If you're doing stuff that's like 6% with the ice cube trays, it's gonna be way different. When you water it down like this, it's gonna be like 2%, 3%, which maybe that's what you wanna do. When you make your slushy, it'll still be 6%. So maybe that's the way to go if you do a lighter ABV. I'd be curious to see what people say about doing stronger than that. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first person to do a mead slushy, so I'm not declaring that I've created this. I, I know I haven't, but I want to give you the options that I've experienced. It's very good. 
So let me know what you think. That's been a mead slushy and a mead mix that you can drink at the pool or when it's hot outside, more than likely. I am definitely gonna be um, sharing this with my friends when I go to the pool over the summer. Uh, I think I might make myself some slushies, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Hit subscribe, and I hope to see you in a future video. Cheers.